Morning folks, it's Wednesday and welcome to our assembly for today. So what we're going to do in assemblies this week, I know Mondays was a bit different with some of you coming back to school for the first time, is we're going to have a think about sport because it's uh, coming up to the summer when we, well it is the summer, when we can get outside and we can run around and be fit and healthy and also it's really important because some of you guys who've come back into school when you've been at home you haven't had the same chances to run around all day with your mates as you uh, would have done normally so maybe all of us and me included um, have been at home and we haven't been able to get out and do the things that we'd normally do I haven't been running with my friends like I would normally do and it's meant that we're not quite as fit as we used to be. So one of the things that we're going to be doing in school is we're going to be doing lots more physical activity so that we can get everybody back to being fit and healthy uh, just like you normally are. Now I saw on Monday and on Tuesday lots of children outside playing really good fun games uh, getting themselves moving and being really healthy, lots of um, really fun stuff and it looked really good fun, it looked, really, it looked great. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk a little bit about sport and about peace and link it to our global goals. Okay, so here we go. Now, sport and peace. So have a think about your favourite sport. Okay, put your hands up if your favourite sport is football. What about netball? Basketball? Um, mine, I think probably most people know, running. Uh, what about cycling? Okay, so next, I want your teacher to stop the video, or I want your parents to stop, uh, to stop the video, or you can do it, and I want you to tell the person sitting next to you, or tell your mums and dads, why you really like that sport. What is it about that sport that you really like? Okay. I like running because it uh, gives me the chance to get to see different places and I get a real sense of satisfaction that I've travelled somewhere under my own steam. So here we've got ideas about why sport is important. We know it keeps us fit and healthy. We know that it means if you're um, healthy, if you're fit, you're less likely to be poorly, you're likely to live longer. So it has that really big impact on your body, but also if you uh, take part in sporting activities, it makes you feel happier. And particularly if you do these sporting activities with other people, then it gives you that sense of community. Okay, Community is where we can all come together to do something. And you know, if you run around on the, on the playgrounds with your mates, and you're just running around, you could be playing TIG or whatever, it doesn't feel like a sport, but actually the sport you're taking part in is running. If you do that with your mates, you feel good about it afterwards. You've had a really good time. You're happy. So sport can make you happy. Okay? But sport can also bring people together. So lots and lots of people can go and watch a football match. And everybody feels the same way because everybody supports that one team. And it doesn't matter which team it is. It really doesn't. Because all of those people support that one team and they come together to do that so it brings different people together that's really important so we can make new friends and build friendships when we play sport together and when we do that we learn to respect each other because everybody's got their different talents everybody's got their different abilities and we can respect that i know that i can run however fast and my friend can say, well done to me, that was really, really good. And my friend can run much faster than me, I don't care. Because it's really good that he can run that fast as well. And I just say, yeah, well done, that's great. Sport teaches us how to work together. Now the special word for this is collaboration. Now you collaborate in school, you work with somebody else in school lots and lots of times. At home, you collaborate as part of a home team it might just be something as simple as setting the table for a meal or doing the dishes. It might be mum or dad who's done the cooking, but you are part of the team. And you can do that on the football pitch. You can do it in a game of TIG because you're all running around or in a game of Bulldog. And because that's a sport. It is a sport because you're practicing your running and you are learning collaboration. Honesty and fair play. That's really, really important. We know that in games there are rules and we know it's important to follow those rules. And it's really important because that's the way that we want to be treated. 
we want to make sure that we're treated in that same way that we'd like to, um, that we want, we want to treat other people. Okay, so it's really important that we are honest when we play. And sport can help to build peace in communities where there's conflict. So some parts of the world aren't uh, nice and safe like Wincham. Some parts of the world there's fighting and it's very sad. Some people have um, lost family members, lost loved ones because of wars that, uh, that are happening. And sport is something that can bring people together to build peace because people come together and they have a good time playing that sport or they feel the same way about that thing. And we know sport helps people to have fun. I was um, outside at playtime on Monday and I saw some of the girls in year six just dancing and they were having a great time and they were laughing and it was brilliant to see. It was really, really nice. You know that you really have fun when you uh, take part in sport as well. Now, Andrea is on the right. Okay, this is Andrea. She's 12 years old. Andrea is growing up in a shanty town in northeast Brazil. So not brick houses like you've got, but uh, lean-to houses made of bits of metal that they can cobble together. Not enough water, not enough sanitation, so they'd have to go to a tap to get their water, not enough places to wash, and a communal toilet. And violence and gangs are an everyday problem. And Andrea often used to stay at home because being indoors was the only way that she could be safe. If she, did, if she went out, she might have been attacked. But without other children to play with, she was very bored and very frustrated. And thanks to a CAFOD funded project, CAFOD is the charity that's put this PowerPoint together, the Catholic Agency for Overseas Development. Thanks to a charity funded project, she's joined a football team and has lots of friends to play with. And as well as being a lot of fun, the project also taught children about their rights and how to live in harmony in their hometown. And since starting to play football, Andrea's a lot happier. She says, I am not sad anymore. Now I have a lot of friends and things are better. So she's learnt all of those really good things through football. So, sport teaches us lots of important things and we call these important things values. Now, let's think about this, this important question. How can we live out these values in our own lives? So stop for a minute, stop the video, and think about some of those and take some ideas in your class or talk to mums and dads. How can sport help you to learn friendship? How can sport help you to learn fair play or collaboration? How can it help you to respect other people and be honest? How can it help you to work together? And most importantly, how can sport help you to build peace? Okay. Now, Pope John Paul II um, ha said this, as a real instrument of reconciliation, sport brings people together. The ideals of fair play, honesty, friendship, collaboration and mutual respect are the building blocks of a new civilization of peace. And that was Pope John Paul II, who was the Pope in uh, the year 2000. And it's really, really important that we work together for all of those things because if we're doing all of those then that really is our partnerships for the global goals. So there we go that was our assembly about sport and peace. So what I want you guys to do today is I want you to get outside I want you to be in the sunshine, I want you to run around, I want you to be out of breath, I want you to be hot and sweaty, and I want you to take a moment when you've done that, when you've had that good time, when you felt hot and sweaty and when you're out of breath and all puffed out, I want you to think about how you feel. First of all, think about how you feel in your heart, okay? Do you feel better because you're physically active? Does it, does it make you feel better? But also, think about how you, you feel emotionally as well. Okay, have you felt happier because you've, done, you've taken part in that sport? Have you felt like you've uh, had a good time because you've been with your friends or been with your family when you've taken part in that sport? Okay, it's a really good feeling, isn't it? Right, Friday's assembly is going to be about a famous sports person. I'll tell you all about that on Friday. Okay, there you go, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.